Hello, welcome back. It's the Canterville Ghost official trailer 2023. Let's check it out. Daddy O. What? <laughs> Wait, hold on. This isn't the trailer. There's a trailer for the tra. What the hell? Welcome to Canterville Chase. Our new home. It was a. It was a trailer for the Canterville Ghost. I shit you not. There was a commercial bar for this trailer before watching this trailer. What? <laughs> Welcome to Canterville Chase. Our new home. In the past, every owner of this house has been forced to flee. Oh well, yeah, I should probably have pointed this out sooner. Uh, you guys ready for another weird, like, third-party animation studio trailer? <laughs> hey, all right. By the ghost of Simon to Canterville. I don't think you're that scary at all. Oh, ghost or no ghost, this family are here to stay. That voice sounds familiar. Uh, interesting. I didn't, I'm not familiar with the story of the Canterville ghosts, but I did a little bit of research, and it's an Oscar Wilde story. If that means anything to anybody, but uh, it's interesting because it's like a comedy kind of, at least from what I gathered, where a family moves into a supposedly haunted house and there is a ghost there trying to haunt them, but is incredibly unsuccessful scaring anybody. Like they're just completely over it. They're like, yeah, whatever, man, you're a ghost. Sure. Um, in fact, I guess in the book, there's even like twins, children or something who like fuck with the ghost, you know, like make his life miserable. Essentially there's, uh, it said something about they create a fake ghost that scares the actual ghost kind of thing. So it's this fun, you know, kind of like spoof on the whole haunted house genre, but it's interesting. And I think it's what's getting out with this redhead here is the ghost befriends one of the family members, a girl who again is just completely nonplussed by a ghost and like they become friends and it made me think if maybe Beetlejuice was somehow inspired by Oscar Wilde's book because it's kind of a similar concept right a ghost haunts a house and that Beetlejuice's case that the, the 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 couple are trying to haunt this house but the daughter like becomes friends with them and is like just completely over it like it's interesting right i never thought about that i mean i didn't know of the story before then so yeah Beetlejuice may have inspired no <laughs> this the story may have inspired Beetlejuice who knows I hate it here okay good talk Henry Fitz Humphrey we used to own the place until the ghost drove us out really I need your help to scare my parents out of here also a similar concept to Beetlejuice ain't it huh the <laughs> <laughs> goblin do you mind sir this is my house. No, sir. This is my house. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, I'm a ghost who cannot haunt. Hello, ghost. Wait. Oh. I failed you. We can't just give up. Delightful of you to call on us, Reverend. Boom. <laughs> this is not funny. <laughs> It's always kind of a treat, you know, to see lower budget animation studios and <laughs> just just kind of see how they try to make animation work, <laughs> you know? It's just so so strange. I mean, it's one thing to to praise studios like Pixar and DreamWorks, but if anything, they're only there to prop up these studios because without those studios trying to make it look as realistic as possible, these wouldn't be as entertaining to watch, you know? Uh, am I getting through it, anybody? It's it's kind of kind of how I feel at the moment. So, how many ghosts have you actually caught? Technically, this will be my first. This way. That's a cupboard. Ah! Roller ghoster. <laughs> Kill me now. I want to see the world have adventures. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Henry! 
Holy crap. Wait. Okay, I don't know those two. Right, Miranda Hart sounds familiar. Uh, St Stephen Fry? Hugh Laurie? Holy crap. Those are small names. Holy shit. <laughs> I wonder who the dad was, because when I said he sounded familiar, I was not thinking Stephen Fryer. Hugh Laurie, even. Damn, they got a house? That's Hugh Laurie, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Have you ever heard him sing St. James Infirmary? Oh, man. Slow down, you'll Whoa! kill us! You're a ghost! You're already dead! Bam, then she crashes and dies, and they become ghosts together, and everybody's happy. Oh, yes! <laughs> Is that going to be how Beetlejuice 2 works? Lydia's going to be like, hey, uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, if they bring back the original actors, I don't think Alec Baldwin's coming back, honestly. But it would be fun be like, Lydia drives, dies, becomes a ghost, and now she's haunting a house. Woo! I don't know. if you, There even is a Beetlejuice 2. I see <clears throat> fan-made trailers or, you know, like, clickbaits for oh the tr new trailer's out and it's jenna ortega fucking of course <laughs> um but i don't know maybe that's just all just speculation even the existence of a movie in the works is all speculation i don't know and this is another thing that's fucking me up september 22nd that can't be right because when i looked it up yeah what the hell when i looked it up october 20th the fuck is this only in cinema september 20th what the fuck this isn't the first time this has happened. It's really bugging me. Anyway, let's check out the comments. Why do we need another adaptation of the old story? Why this and not Terry Pratchett's books, for example? I think Discworld or something of Terry Pratchett's was that adapted, but it was like BBC only. I mean, you're making this sound like it's a big Hollywood production, and I gotta, gotta tell you, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like one. <laughs> All new LEGO Super Mario sets available now. Five likes, two likes. Same same person puts five minutes ago, 0 0.37. Okay, well that's weird and cryptic, but you know what's even weirder? This comment as well, only got two likes. And better yet, that's all the comments. Just, just those four. And only one of them, I'd argue, even has anything to do with the trailer itself. So, uh, I, I don't look at me, it's not my fault. I can only do so much with this shit. Uh, but, uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Till next time? That's the one. Till next time. Ugh.